Letting go is a skill that we can practice and strengthen like a muscle that we would train. Every single moment that happens in our lives is an opportunity to practice letting go. And this is the key to living in the present moment where there is no bad memories, no worries for the future. We're just fully in this moment at peace with whatever we're doing. All suffering happens when we are either in the past or the future and not in the present moment. Even when something bad is happening, it's actually after that moment where the suffering lives. And the more we practice always letting go, the more that we can stay in the moment and be at peace. Almost every single time in our lives where we feel pain or we're, you know, it's just so angry about some situation. It's always something that happened in the past. And if we can take every moment that's happened and let it go, we don't forget it. Our memory still works, but when we can truly let go of every bad and hurtful experience, and we can even let go of joyful experiences, we will find lasting joy instead of temporary joy. And so the way to do this is to just either look at something in the present moment fully, completely, observing the sounds and the sights of our surroundings, and to stay in this moment, which means to fully look with curiosity and intention, not labeling judging, not fixated on something great or terrible that just happened or that may happen. Our minds are so powerful and effective. The greatest computers still to this day, we do not need to create a mental stream of thought labeling things as bad to know not to put your hand in fire or not go down that dark alley at night. That is from a higher wisdom, the knowing, not the thinking. And knowing is far superior to a constant stream of thought that is only one word at a time rushing through our brain often repetitive, often negative, and instead when we can be present, the higher understanding and knowing occurs. There's a really wonderful notion that came from the ancient Egyptians where when they would mummify a pharaoh, they would store the heart, which they thought was the most precious part of the body, and they would rip out the brain and throw it away. Not because they thought it was worthless or they didn't understand what it did, but because they understood that it's the heart that is where our intuition and our true wisdom comes from. That hundreds of millions of years of evolutionary DNA intelligence is stored so far beyond anything the mind can think. We don't have to tell our lungs to breathe 
or our hearts to beat, or our blood to flow. These things happen automatically because there is a greater wisdom within us. And the more we can let go of whatever our mind is fixated on, the more we can be present, the more that wisdom can guide us. The more we are instinctual, intuitive beings living through our intention and our greatest intelligence. And all you have to do is observe the present moment to be fully present and to let go of the past and your worries for the future. And that is why one of the greatest things that we can do is to simply observe our breath because it is always in the present moment. We never are looking at our past breath. We're not thinking about the next breath. When we look at our breath, it is a gateway to the present moment. And most importantly, it is always with us. And all we have to do is look at it and we can let go of everything else.